Hi, I'm Dong, co-program director for High Tech Entrepreneurship together with Cameron and also teaching two courses from that regard. So the last eight years I've built a company called Rockstars, which is one of the top three accelerators in Europe. And in the last eight years we've helped build 150 companies who are now worth 350 million euros. So Hydrack Entrepreneurship for me is all about startups. The definition of a startup according to Eric Ries, who is sort of the founder of the, the Lean Startup Movement, a startup is sort of launching a new product or service in conditions of extreme uncertainty. And the big difference between an ordinary company around the corner and a startup is that a company around the corner, uh, when they want to grow and expand, they need to hire more people, open new locations. But with a startup, the costs uh, are basically the same whether you have 10 customers or 10,000 customers. That's why they're uh, so much more scalable internationally, so you can sort of expand it around the world, but that's also why they're so much more challenging to make successful. At Harperspace, high-tech entrepreneurship is really about surrounding students uh, with the best people. In life, if you want to be in the top of, of, of your league, it's all around learning from the best, uh, best professionals in that field. And I remember when I was studying uh, in Utrecht, I was doing also like a master in business and entrepreneurship, but the courses that I was given were A, not very intense, like five to 10 hours a week, and B, they were taught by people who spend most of life researching, I think especially in entrepreneurship, it's all around immersing yourself and actually doing the things that, that you need to learn as an entrepreneur. So not only do you, do you learn from the best people in the field, also you're able to take much more, many more courses. And the amount of time you spend with professors is 20 to 40 hours a week. And then you can actually apply those knowledge inside and outside of class uh, as well, which is a fundamental difference with normal education, which is very low intensity and just sitting back and taking in information. So basically, Harbor Space is the, the type of university I wish I had when I was studying 10 years ago. So in essence, it's about doing stuff, right? So if you look at how you're sort of graded in a traditional university that you've learned everything you need to learn at the end, it's through an academic thesis. If I look at all my friends, the thing that they most dreaded around their university experience was the writing of the thesis. Some people took a year and a half to finish this uh, just because it's incredibly boring, especially if you focus on business or uh, entrepreneurship. Most people are being taught uh, to become academics while only 10% or 5% of the people leaving a business degree become academics. So at Harbor Space, we've designed something called a capstone, which is basically sort of uh, uh, a prelude of what you're going to do in real life. So in high-tech entrepreneurship, it basically means starting a company. So that's when I will meet the students for the first time. That's why I'll teach them the skills around lean startup, customer development, um, they'll get courses later on around digital marketing. And depending on what their skills are and where maybe their gaps are in their knowledge, they can choose additional courses, maybe also from the other masters that we have in interaction design or it could also be in fintech, uh, where they want to beef up on their knowledge, um, sort of taking all the different uh, sort of skills and experiences that they need to have to be more prepared to launch their product ending up uh, in the last course, which is the, the, the Demo Day Bootcamp, where they basically prepare their pitch, their market, their business model for presenting to the hyperspace community and also to a select group of investors. So there's the official answer and there's the unofficial answer. The official answer is that you need to apply to Harbor Space with a project because it shows the level of ambition and preparation that you have to, to be a part of Harbor Space. But I don't care so much about the idea that you come into Harbor Space with because you'll be exposed to so many different teachers, so many different people from other cultures that I'm, I'm sure that your idea will develop over time. It's much more about your attitude, it's much more about what you want to get out of the program that I think is important because what I've learned that in life, um, especially in environments uh, like Harbor Space, it's very simple. What you put in is what you get out. That is what I, what I look for when I start to work with people in my class.